You can cheer. It's all right. Yeah. 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 Quiet. Quiet in. <laughs> manners be so quiet <laughs> <laughs> all right welcome everyone thank you uh for coming to help us welcome damar here to sacramento um exciting day I want to first start by thinking a lot of people had a big part in this um damar's agent aaron goodwin uh you know great partner through this to uh to get damar here uh, obviously vivek matina uh coach brown uh, the rest of our coaching staff, Wes Wilcox, Phil Jabor, Paul Johnson, our front office, uh, a big group effort. Uh, but obviously the star of the show here is this guy to my right. And uh, I'll give a quick intro, though he probably doesn't need one, but six-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA. Um, Damar is uh, somebody who everywhere he's gone has made an impact on winning, and we're excited uh, that that's going to be here in Sacramento for the foreseeable future. So... Um, I'll turn it over to Damar for a few words, and we'll take some questions. Um, thank you. Um, it's beyond an honor um, to be, be able to be a part of such a, you know, uh, uprising franchise. You know, um, the the want that they showed, you know, going in free agency was, you know, was amazing. I ain't gonna lie. You know, it's always it always feel good to be wanted somewhere, and you know, from day one, um, they showed that. You know, so it's an honor to be able to represent this organization and, you know, build on what this organization has been doing the last couple of years. You know, it's something special. You know, I want to, I definitely want to be, be a part of it. And, you know, I want to be one of those guys that hit the, the beam to light up at <laughs> night. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Looking forward to playing with this young, exciting, talented team. Um, great coaching staff. Um, it's amazing, you know. Um, last couple of days, that's all I kind of been thinking about is, you know, putting on this jersey, representing the city, um, hearing the fans um, scream as loud as y'all can, you know. So I'm definitely looking forward to it, man. It's going to be an exciting year, you know. I'm um, I'm definitely going to work my butt off uh, more than ever, you know, to make sure, you know, the city get what it deserves. Hey, y'all. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Monty, I'll start with you, really. What does it mean for you to land somebody like him uh, in your time here in Sacramento and just maybe the importance of this moment for your tenure in, with the Kings? Well, I think, um, you know, it's for the, just for the organization to, to land somebody uh, of DeMar's stature um, is, you know, just incredible. I think it speaks to, um, you know, what we've been building here and, uh, especially the last couple of years, you know, De'Aaron, Domas, uh, Keegan, on and on down the line, obviously Malik, uh, you know, re-signing here, and, um, but also speaks to DeMar, I think, um, you know, somebody who is always about winning, and I think, as we've said, like, wi winning is going to bring people in, so uh, I think this is a great testament to that, and, uh, you know, hopefully more and more winning to come. And for you, DeMar, if, if, if someone had told you a month ago that you'd be sitting here in Sacramento as the newest member of the Sacramento Kings joining this franchise, would you have believed him? No, I would not. <laughs> you know, and sometimes that's the beauty of life, honestly. You know, you never know what, what's going to happen, you know, and sometimes the greatest thing happened unexpectedly. So, you know, be here in this position, you know, definitely want to make the most of it. Uh, DeMar, welcome to Sacramento. Um, you, I just wonder what you, you kind of heard over the years uh, about this city, Kings fans, the, the way they embrace the team and the players, and, and how it felt to, to walk out here uh, the other night and, and receive that ovation. Um, I mean, this, I remember playing at the old arena, you know, when they had the, the, the cowbells and all that. Um, but still got them. Yeah, still got them? All right, cool. Um, but to get the reception I got the other night was amazing. You know, like I said, I've, I'm, over the last couple of years playing against the Kings, you know, it's been, it's been tough coming in this building. You know, you feel it. 
You know, it's not many arenas in in this league where you, you know, when you walk in, you feel the atmosphere, you feel the tension in the air, um, feeling like you are on the road when you're a road team. So to be able to get that reception the other night, you know, it's amazing. You know, uh, it's, it's the respect, the love that's already shown, you know, had me hungry. I think I, I, I left there that night and, you know, went straight to the gym when I got back, got back home. So, you know, just the drive, the hunger, the passion that the fans show, you definitely just want to give it back. Couple for you here, Demar. Welcome to Sacramento. First off, thank you. Can you walk us through whatever you can the your Saturday as a whole, from from arriving to getting to the moment of of with the fans? Yeah, it was it was big. I just wanted to come here more so than anything and just check out the facility. You know, um, meet the staff, meet um, front office. You know, just kind of get get a feel. You know, instead of you know just going back and forth, you know, talking with my agent, you know, I just want to get a feel for myself of everything, you know, um, so I flew here, set Coach Brown office, you know, we watched a little of the, um, the G League game, um, sat there and talked, De'Aaron came in, we sat there and talked, um, Doug Christie came in and we sat there and talked, um, so everybody just kept coming in the room, we just sat there and talked, so, um, but it was, it was, it was a great, it was a great feel. Everything was genuine. Everything was real, and everything was about the betterment of you know how we can make this franchise you know um, grow, you know. And I left you know middle of the day. You know I I just wanted to get get it done, um, and and you know kind of get the relief off my shoulders, you know. And that's what happened. You know everything was just a, just genuine from that day. And you know um, we was in the back eating. And all of a sudden, I just heard, let's, let's go outside. The fans out there, next thing you know, when we walked out and got the reception that we got, and I, that was kind of like the icing on the cake, you know, for me. Um, that just made me feel like I made the right decision. And then yourself and De'Aaron have been battling back and forth for Clutch Player of the Year over the last yeah, couple I of seasons. Yeah, I told him that. I told him I was mad two years ago <laughs> that he got it, and I didn't get it. Um, but, yeah, we've definitely been battling. And, you know, just with that there, me being the competitor that I am, you know, I, I, I sit and watch you know, uh, a lot of those moments. And I think even in Chicago, I, think I remember he had a game winner on us in Chicago. And I kind of made it a thing um, this past season when we played here. I think we was losing by like 20. I made it a thing in the fourth quarter to make sure we won just in case we was head to head and, you know, in that, in that battle again. But, you know, to see someone as special as him, you know, I've been following him since he was in college. Um, see the amazing things he, he's able to do. Just being a part of that could be special. Tomorrow, you, you just mentioned that you didn't know if this would be a possibility a month ago. When did the light go off when you just like, yes, I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be part of the Sacramento Kings. Um, like I said, just just the want, you know, just the, just the expression of being wanted, um, needed um, to do something bigger than, you know, just me. And then at the end of the day, I'm all I'm all for winning. You know, I just want to win at, at the highest of levels. You know, and, and me being able to be a part of something a team may be missing to help them take them over that hump, you know, that's all I needed to see. And that was what was expressed to me from, from day one, you know. And, um, you know, as a competitor, you know, that's all you need. Damar over here, welcome to Sacramento. You know, this team's really had an uprising over the past couple of years. You're being talked about as somebody that can help propel this team into contention and obviously a really stacked Western Conference. How flattering is that for, you know, for a person of your caliber to you know, perhaps be that, that catalyst for, for a young team on the rise? Man, I love it. You know, um, I love it. <laughs> I love a challenge. I love the excitement that come with it. And um, when you're a competitor, you want to be in the best where the best is at. You know, and like you said, the, the, the Western Conference is stacked, stacked with that. You get tested every single night, um, and you work for those moments so it can bring the best out of you. So I'm, 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 I'm overly looking forward to it. I can't wait. I'm excited. You know, it's going to be fun. Monty, um, this franchise over the last 40 years kind of has a stigma about getting big-time free agent signings. How big is this for you and your group to be able to bring in one of the top-tier guys in this year's free agent class? Yeah, I think, like I said, it's, you know, I don't know. For us personally, you know, that that's just our job. But I think for the organization, um, for somebody of DeMar's stature, look, when you're a free agent, you get to choose where you go. And uh, for somebody like that to choose our team, I think it just speaks to what we're building here. And, uh, you know, this is a great city. It's a great organization. We have incredible fans. But number one, we've been winning. 
Um, you know, I think us and Denver, the only two teams that have won 46 or more in the West the last two years is incredibly tough West, but, um, you know, hopefully that's part of what DeMar saw here and uh, that we can have, you know, even bigger dreams in the future. Yeah, DeMar, sort of the same question. Just what is it about this fit that you felt like, okay, I'm willing to take a gamble where so many other players in the past haven't? How many times I've seen that beam lit up when I was chilling at home, uh, <laughs> you know, especially being <laughs> – uh, on Central Time, um, you know, me watching, I, I watch every NBA game. So, like I said, you just always seeing <laughs> something lit up. And it's like, God, <laughs> damn, what, what's, what's the significance of pushing this button, you know? Um, <laughs> but like I said, winning solves all. And that's one thing I always express to guys that I play with that, you know, want to be all-stars, who want to get paid, blah, blah, blah. Everything that come, winning solves everything. You know, you want to be a part of winning. You want to be a winner. You want to be known as a winner. So for me, that's just, you know, that's the most appealing thing for me. You know, and you, and you see it um, every single night when this team plays. It's all about winning. Monty, obviously the excitement with, uh, over here, sorry. Um, the excitement with bringing in DeMar, also some sadness with letting uh, HB have to leave this organization. What was that conversation like when you uh, told him that he was going to be the other part of this trade? Yeah, obviously Harrison. Um, I think along with De'Aaron, uh, one of the two guys that's been here since since I came aboard, and uh, incredible competitor, um, obviously meant so much to this community. And I think it was fantastic that Harrison got to be a part of the, the team that, that broke the playoff drought here, uh, had some incredible moments uh, here in SAC, and he's going to have incredible moments uh, going forward. So we wish him the best. But uh, just a, uh, obviously an incredible player, even better human, and uh, happy to have crossed paths with him. Wish him the best going forward. He's fine. I talked to Harrison yesterday, so <laughs> he, he he's fine. He he was asking me about places in San Antonio. So, he... <laughs> Demar, how important was De'Aaron's uh, voice in this recruitment process? And that, <clears throat> just from a basketball perspective, how do you just view this fit on the court? I mean, it definitely was big. You know, De'Aaron and um, uh, Malik was you know one of the first two people to text me about it and, you know, just their whole approach, you know, through the text messages, you know, it just felt genuine. It felt the want. Um, and that was the cool part because at the end of the day, I told De'Aaron, you know, yesterday, um, I've been a fan of, of his game since college. You know, obviously me being a fan of the game, I pay attention to all these guys. So for them reaching out, you know, hearing their point of view, with me coming and how much it can help, not just the team, but them personally, you know, things like that means a lot. From a basketball fit perspective, I, I, I always prided myself feeling like I could play with anybody. You know, I try, to, I try to go out there and make everybody else's job easy. You know, um, do whatever it takes to win. Um, I never overly complicate anything. I just really feel like I go out there and play with anybody. Hi. Right. Hey, Damar. Way back here, man. How you doing? Welcome to Sacramento. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is kind of a two-part question. First of all, you talked about playing in Arco Arena, how loud it was, um, and just the electricity of the fans and the beam and all of that stuff. So what is your overall impression of Sacramento? And is there anything in particular you're looking forward to doing out here? And then the second part of that question is a lot of Kings players have theme songs, per se, when they make a basket or do certain things on the court. What would you say your song would be when that happens? Um, to answer your first question, one, you see the passion in the fans more so than anything. Just on the outside looking in, that's all you always seen is just the fans outside the arena. The fans, you know, I'm talking about the beam again, taking videos of the beam in the sky. You know, um, you just see the passion and love um, for their team. You know, and that, like, that goes a long way. You know, it, it's hard to find you know, overly dedicated fans um, that been through the ups and downs with a franchise. And, and this is one of those uh, fan bases that, that been through everything, you know. And to your second part, um, my theme song, I have no clue. I, I, don't, that's, you, I, I hope somebody pick a, a great theme song for me. <laughs> Tomorrow over here, maybe it'll be uh... – Maybe it'll be uh, They're Not Like uh, Us, huh? <laughs> bringing Kendrick with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you don't miss games. You average about 24, 25 a game. Um, but your passing over the last several years has been one of the more 
overlooked and understated part of your package. How do you see that fitting in with the offense that Mike and Jay draw? I mean, when you, you got a young shoot, shooter like Murray, the way he shoots the ball is incredible. Um, the, it's, it's, everything is, is, is overly fitting for me in a sense of my playmaking to make my job a lot easier. You know, and, and those components is, they go together well. You know, and that's one thing I've been conscious of over the last couple of years of my career is just being able to be somebody that can make my teammates better and make their life a lot better as well. You know, because once I do that, it makes my job a lot easier. And those two go hand in hand once you really get the rhythm of of that. You know, and I take pride in, you know, trying to bring the best out of my teammates and not, not just about me, you know, just scoring and shooting the ball. I really try to get everybody involved and, you know, give them a different confidence that, that go a long way. Demar, as a during the course of your career, most of the time you've been usually playing the two. But now that uh, Harrison is gone, and a lot of people might look at you as a three, have you played much three in your career, or do you look forward to that, or how do you slide between the two and the three as yeah. you move forward? I mean, I mean. Uh, I played in the league when it was two bigs out there, you know, and 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 then three was six nine. Now, you know, the game has changed, and one thing about that, you know, I try to adapt and just need be. Um, I really don't look at it like it's a position thing. I look at it as a fit thing, whatever is needed for for a night, any given night. You know, um, I never really put too much thought on a position, you know, because nowadays you got you know centers playing point guard in this league, so. You know, for me, I'm, I, I try to be like, like water, be shapeless, formless, and be able to adjust to anything. Uh, Monty, how much better does DeMar make the Kings just by virtue of the fact that he gets to the line, he makes free throws, and he doesn't turn the ball over? Well, I think the exciting thing for us um, is, you know, adding DeMar. We're able to, you know, bring Malik back, which is a big, big part of our offseason. Um, obviously, Alex Len. Uh, Jordan McLaughlin and all the guys we got coming back. And then you had somebody of DeMar's stature. And I think, like he said, his ability to fit in in so many different, you know, between Toronto, San Antonio, Chicago, he's played, you know, back to USC internationally. So that that passing, I think, uh, as Mark brought up, is a huge, hugely overlooked part of his game that he's grown the last few years. We were, we were talking on Saturday, and I told him, it's just been so impressive. I mean, he came into the league, he was a, huge athlete, high flyer, you know, get to the rim dunk. And now he's, you know, added the passing, added this mid range, you know, incredible touch all over the floor. And then defensively, you know, I don't know what position, two, three, four, like he's got how he takes care of his body. Um, so all those things I think are going to feed it, fit in seamlessly. And uh, I think his, his accolades and, and what he's done in his career speak for itself. So, you know, at a six time all star here, I, I don't know where it takes us, um, but I think Adding a guy like him, we feel we're better. Uh, we feel we can compete with anybody in the West, and so that's going to be our mindset. Tomorrow, you you mentioned the conversation that you had with Mike Brown. How do you see the relationship with him going, playing for him, and and what do you like about that potential partnership? I'm looking forward to it. You know, since I've been in the league, you know, um, playing against him, you know, respect level that I have for him since he's been in the league, paying attention to, you know, um, everything he he's done. Um, the respect is there, you know, and it goes both ways. So with that, like, I pride myself on being one of the most coachable guys, you know, whatever is needed, however is needed, you know, I try to be the guy that you always could count on. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a piece of cake. I remember seeing a video, I don't know if it was last year or something, he was running sprints with the team, and I was like, you know, that's what, that's what type of person you want to play for.